Hi hey guys, Dustin here, wrapping up with our Elite Week or Diecast Week. And we're going to top it off with, looks like Ricky Craven's number 50 Louis Budweiser car from 1998. This is our second alcohol related sponsor. Our first ever one was Brad Kozlowski's number two car, and that was a huge milestone. Anyway, this is Louis the Lizard car, Budweiser. Which, who was the mascot for Budweiser. Anyway. In this box you get like a purple and gold checker flag with the Action Platinum Series Racing Collectibles logo. Number 50, Louis the Lizard. One of 12,252 are made. I don't know the diecast identification number for this one. And I basically don't know this story behind this car. If anyone would like to explain, please leave a comment down below. Again, I had not done my research on this car. Anyway. Off goes the top sleeve. And off goes the styrofoam. Here's our car. And it does not have the child safety locks on this one. So basically, a kid can easily access into this car. Okay. So it does open. I just did that. Okay, put this back in here. So here's our car, Louis the Lizard. Um, I will say that this car is going to be partially shared with my dad when he comes home because he drinks Budweiser and. He's going to like like this. This is actually going to be his Father's Day gift. Because he does drink Budweiser. So, kind of generous. <laughs> I actually got, got a car from my mom, but she's not going to know until she gets it. Bas that's going to be basically her die-cast car, not mine. But it does combine two of her things. NASCAR, football... But it's not going to be, you know, ACDC related or Kevin Harvick related, which are her two, her two favorite things. And when I'm going to continue on, here is the car itself. It looks beautiful, just all red from top to bottom. It is a Monte Carlo. And here's the hood the car with Louis the looks like a chameleon and it's basically a chameleon uh, lizard when you got number 50 I think back then that would be Ricky Craven's number Night, circa 1998 and here is the trunk, you got pedigree on there. And Bud, which is Budweiser. Good fast fact, this is my second alcohol related sponsor. And as we take a look at the side, you know, smaller sponsors. Actually, let me put this like up on a pedestal like stand so that way easily take a much better closer look. There we go. Much better. Smaller sponsors. Got NASCAR 50th anniversary. 
NASCAR Winston Cup, Bud Pole Award, Gatorade, DuPont, Reynolds, True Value, 3M, Goodies, and many other small sponsors on there. And here's some more sponsors. We've got Haas, GMAC, Pedigree, DAS, get there faster. Uh, up on the B panel, you got AC Delco, you got Hendrick Motorsports. You got Slick 50 right here, right back here. Budweiser is along here. You got Quaker State NASCAR 50th anniversary. And you got Pedigree as well. Take a look at the other side. Which is basically the same. You got your smaller sponsors, Goodyear, your other small sponsors, 50, Budweiser, and as always, we get to peer inside the car, which we are going to do right now. Please note that the roof flaps. They don't open, so this is basically a, it's not a Elite, but it's basically like a standard die cast car. It's the inside of the car. As we peer inside. Very beautiful. And this has no die cast identification whatsoever. Actually, I actually like the touch, they actually don't add the, the extra pieces right here. Over these fenders because it basically just stands out. Front tires do turn. Also you got your drive shaft, shaft here. Transmission. And your silver exhaust. Hood does open. Oh my. <laughs> Nearly fell. And it does not say anything. There's no logos or company logos. It's just like a plain red underside of the hood. And we look inside the engine. See what's under the hood. Very neat Monte Carlo engine, powered by Chevrolet. And here's your trunk as well. Here on the inside. A little dark, but... I think this is much, much of a better view that I can get out of. You got your fuel cell, your fuel tank fuel hoses and all that. Close the trunk. Roof flaps do not open, which may kind of a disappointment. Because I like I like cars with opening roof flaps. And uh tomorrow is when I'm gonna really close out on Elite Week. I got two die cast cars that I had not even done a review of. They will They'll be uploaded as parts one and two tomorrow. So, therefore, I really got nothing else to say about this car, which indeed does look pretty cool. Anyway, my name is Dustin, and I will see you later for the special two part finale.